mother, and my mother, I'll tell you what happened after I sent her this letter, but I want you to, I'm just going to read the important part, because I haven't marked here. It's the soulmate I thought was so, so beautiful. tell you, I have notes on it. Let's see. No, no, you don't have the, the important note is here. No. Here it is. Wicker keenly appreciated on page 160. Wicker keenly appreciated the impact that even one visible homosexual could have on the lives of gay men and women. As he explained in a letter to his mother shortly appearing on national television, quote, I will be talking to millions of people about things they never heard before. My participation on the panel will help mothers like you to understand the problems of their children. I will be reaching dozens, perhaps hundreds, even thousands of young men and women who are lost and confused, who are thinking of suicide, who are laden with guilt, who cannot face the world, who thinks they're the only one in the world who feel as they do. I will be a symbol of hope to these people a living example that they can have a life unracked by depravity. This is the greatest chance I've ever had in my life to do something really important, really noble, and really satisfying. Wow. I thought that was a great... That's amazing. That was just one of my fabulous... I, and I totally sit in writing and I found it in this book after I did take my... Anyway, you know what happened? My aunt, who ended up being very much closer to than my mother, my aunt who was totally accepting my gayness, called me up and said, couldn't you wear a wig and a dress? Mm. Couldn't you wear a disguise? I said, Livy, the whole reason for going on is to show that that isn't the case, and it's already taped. And the tape was incredible. And that was another great moment. That's the point. The moment, the moment that my life changed as a gay activist, they had a second show, Sandor Loran, who had studied under Young. I think it was, he was an associate of Young or a Freud himself. Like he was a really prominent man. He lived to be 95 years old. And Les Crane leaned forward and said, Dr. Loran, you mean there can be, there can be intelligent, you know, normal, you know, adjusted homosexuals and Dr. Lorraine who had a he was a Viennese psychiatrist he had this big cigar and he took sort of like a quick puff off of his cigar and he said but but of course of course and he pointed at me look there and when he said he said well right here and he pointed at me and at that moment I'll never forget it I was sitting in the chair and utterly charmed at what he was saying. And then when he said, he points at me, and I look at the camera, and the green light goes on, or the red light goes on, and I can tell you, I, I probably was just looking blankly, but I can tell you what was happening in my mind. No, 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 not me, not me, no. 